attack. So the issue with nuclear weapons is the people who possess them now have never used them in war, except for the US. So they have shown responsible use. You know, just like if you have a driver's license, you go drinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you drink but don't drive, that's responsible use right there. Yeah. The question is, are we so sure that other countries like Iran or North Korea will use them responsibly? Probably not. So if we know that they won't use them responsibly, I mean, come on. The president of Iran says, we're going to wipe Israel off the face of the earth. That's not nice. <laughs> I mean, that's not responsible language right there. But why is it that they have this grudge towards Israel? Because <coughs> the Middle East built <laughs> conspiracy theorists who say that Israel is the puppet of the U.S. and it shouldn't exist in the first place. Okay. So there's this long-standing antagonism between Muslims and Jews, with Muslims saying, look, there are, what, 300 million of us in the Middle East, but Israel is like 10 million. Why do they keep beating us in the wars? So there's a massive emphasis on destroying Israel by Syria, by Iran, by Saudi Arabia. That's why we are defending them right now. So, like every week, there's a bombing in Israel. All right, it's a you turn the TV, you yeah. always see it. Oh, in Israel. Another suicide. So bomb. here's the issue: we know that Iran is trying to build nuclear energy, but are they trying to also build nuclear weapons out of it? If they are trying to build nuclear weapons, how do we approach them? So the issue is diplomacy. Is patient diplomacy the right response? <coughs> to Iran's nuclear program. Should we simply go and bomb Iran, bomb the nuclear sites, or should we engage in diplomacy? Because the, the problem is that if you do get engage in diplomacy, then they'd be lying to you. Saying that yes, we will get rid of the nuclear energy program, when in fact they don't. I mean, the president of Iran has already expressed interest in a dialogue with the U.S. So, is Iran a threat or not? Should we trust it or not? No. Yes, it is. So, who wants to be on this debate? Any volunteers? Yes, sir. Okay, Larry? Yes. Yes? Okay. Okay. Anyone else? I'm gonna pick. Remember, diplomacy is just like saying, um, all right, we're building a deal, that's it. Well, diplomacy is negotiating with them, engaging in a dialogue, trusting them to follow them in their work. I think if we trust them, they do something different than what we say. They'll know that we'll just take them out. So I don't think they want to risk that. How about we just, in that case, diplomacy may work. How about we just like plant some bombs in their countries? Like, if you just act up. Like, <laughs> yeah, it works. <laughs> if you do it, <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> exactly. You put like a, a pin on like the button. So if they push it, they'll like, like, poke them. So it's like build tunnels underneath the Iraqi border and go into like 20 miles below the surface of Iran. Yeah. If they dare to defy us, we'll blow it up. <laughs> Problem solved. Problem solved. Problem solved. It's like, let's say you grab a wolf by the ears, you never let go, right? You're good. You're straight. I'm sure General will be that. Jeff, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Is Jeff. currently a nuclear thumbs power? No, yeah. it, is, it is developing a nuclear energy program. I mean, there are a lot of talks out there who say, look, Iran does not yet have a nuclear energy program, so there's nothing to, to prevent us from attacking it. If we go in and wipe, wipe the program out, they can't stop us. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, yeah. Uh-oh, Sam. Okay. What's that so, uh, 